Far Cry Primal released in February of 2016 to less than stellar sales. So while we're all waiting for the release of Far Cry 5, I thought this would be a good time to go back and take a look at a game that most of you skipped and convince you to give it the chance it deserves. The game opens simply enough, with the date appearing on the screen that begins to roll backwards. And as it does, the sounds of the air is Voices from the past come and go. Until all we're left with is silence. And that's really the heart of the game, a primordial world without the trappings of civilization. In the game, you'll play as Takar, a man who fights against both nature and beasts to unite his tribe and become the leader of his people, the Winja. I say man, but it may not be the right word, because in the game, Takar is a Crow magnon a robust ancient ancestor of modern humans. And Primal is set in a world inhabited by more than one type of human. You'll encounter flesh-eating Neanderthals called Udo, and anatomically modern humans wearing blue paint called the Azila. And that's really my biggest historical problem with Far Cry Primal. By 10,000 years ago, only modern humans were left. Luckily, there's an easy fix. Suddenly, you're thrown into a world where humans are meat. You'll be hunted day and night, and forced to huddle next to fires to keep the predators away in the darkness. But that doesn't mean you'll be a pushover. With an arsenal of clubs, spears, javelins, and slings, you'll claim the valley one campfire at a time, and single-handedly cause the extinction of every Pleistocene fauna you encounter. Which is why I call it 2016's Hunting Game of the Year. Because in my 40 hours with the game, I lost count of how many animals I skinned to upgrade my weapons from Paleolithic to Neolithic. But that's part of the charm of Far Cry Primal. The game is one about survival, where you're only one saber-toothed tiger encounter away from a restart, and the cold and hunger are just as deadly. The story for the game itself, though, is pretty bare bones. Conquer the valley, unite your people, and drive off the other human tribes. It's told through a series of missions given to you by people you recruit to your village. A motley crew of stock characters. The shaman, the hunter, the gatherer, the warrior, and even the comedic relief. Shall we wipe that dash? But somehow, even a year later, I still remember them, and I actually remember their stories. It's a testament to the game that even in those brief moments, you somehow latch on to something with the characters. And I think it's because you all share a common goal in the game. Building a new life, a new village, a home for the Winja. A village tucked into caves, decorated by wall paintings that tell the stories of your exploits. You can almost smell the smoke and sweat that permeates the world. That's not to say the game isn't without its faults. The map is clearly recycled from Far Cry 4 as are nearly all the animals you'll encounter, except maybe with a little more fur this time. And while the game prides itself on giving you options for every encounter, the boss fights are tedious health bar grinds that go on for far too long, with simple patterns that have to be repeated over and over again. Primal feels like it was meant to be like the game Far Cry Blood Dragon, a $20 adventure DLC set in the same world, but somewhere along the line, Ubisoft decided to pad the game out, and it just feels stretched too thin, especially at a $60 price tag. But luckily now, you can pretty much pick it up everywhere for only $20, and at that price, it's a steal. Riding through the jungle on the back of your saber-toothed tiger, hunting down herds of mammoth, and sicking your pet bear on anyone foolish enough to stand in your way. Ubisoft dared to set their game in a unique era, and because of that, it feels different. Prehistory is called that for a reason. We just don't know what happened there. Far Cry Primal instead gives you the feeling of a bygone world, teeming with life where humans scrape by for existence, fighting each other for dominance. It makes it so you can't wait to go over the next hill or climb the next glacier and explore places your ancestors may have tread, something Ubisoft excels at. Far Cry Primal regularly goes on sale for $20, so pick it up now. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching. If you like this review, make sure to click subscribe. I try to update weekly with games and stories inspired by history.